What's going on YouTube, Bandcap24 here, back with another play out of the single back doubles north formation scheme that we've been doing all week out of the West Coast playbook. Today's video, we're going to look at a cloud flat beater, something in which we really like as an option to also set up some run plays, but really show you another type of um, unique thing that's in this formation that uh, we want to bring to light as far as using your tight end to get running back routes. Kind of a couple different things that we're going to show you in this video. That's why we wanted to put it all in one video and, and show you that thing. So we're going to look at the PA rollout. I'm going to, you know, a play that we already looked at this week. We're going to flip it because I just feel like it's a little bit more of a comfort thing for me to run it flipped. So let's go take a look at it. And what you're going to see is that we're going to take this tight end and we're going to put him on a fade. Okay. Once we put him on a fade, we're going to motion him to the backfield. That's going to turn that uh, fade into a wheel route. We're going to motion back this tight end, and he keeps his wheel. So basically what you can do is you can get wide uh, tight end to run running back routes by doing this motion, right? What that's going to do against Cloud Flats, it's really going to do a great job of man activating the left two um, options. So you're going to see here that the Cloud Flat and the Deep Blue will man activate on the X and the A receiver, leaving the Y open on the sidelines. If we're running this to the wide side of the field, what you're going to see is you're going to have some opportunity to look at this wide receiver, and you're going to be able to throw it to him, get some nice easy yards. Now, you could always pass lead this up for, for additional yards, and I'm going to show you that here with cover three, that this time we're going to pass lead him up. Um, and know that we've got the, if we don't see that the guys are, are low in their coverage, we're going to assume that it's cloud flats. And you're going to see that you're going to have that ability to um, really be able to kind of use their man activation against them because they won't break on the ball when they're man activated. I'll kind of show you that here too as well. So here we're going to carry this out. You're going to see that the Y is going to get open. We're going to pass lead it up and get some really good yards because of that opportunity. Now, let's go look at cover two. It's going to be a little bit easier to show you what I mean by them not breaking a man activation. And we'll just put one of these guys in deep blue. Again, all we're doing is putting the A on a fade, motion this guy over. And we're going to motion him back. Okay, so basically we'll do it this way. And what you'll see here is if you don't know that it's cover two, then you're probably going to want to wait until the player hits the sidelines to throw it. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Say you don't know it's cover two, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting. Now you're throwing it to him on the sidelines, right? Well, if you do know it's cover two, you can definitely use that to your advantage because of the fact that you've got the ability to pass lead them up and not have to worry about the play you're breaking. You should be able to know that it's covered too by the safety's movement. They're going to fan out on the first couple steps. And by looking at that, you're going to notice that it's either going to be covered two man or covered two. Now, I'll show you basically what I mean by pass leading them up on this example. And knowing that they're going to play their man, not the ball. Um, and using that to your advantage. So we're going to go through this again. We're going to look at that wide receiver. We're going to now pass lead it up. And you're going to see how we're going to get more, more yardage. Let me show you the difference here and what I'm telling you as far as a couple different keys on this play. First, let's look at cover two. You're looking at these two safeties. And they're both going to take a fan out motion. See how they fan out to the outside? That's going to give the indication that it's cover two. Now, the second thing I want you to, to see here is that once you get this player to go up the field, you're going to see that right here, let me show you here, number 25, or yeah, 25, he's going to basically go up and cover 81. He got man activated. He's not breaking on the ball. Now, look over here as well, 28 is man activated. Now, watch the reactions of both uh, Sherman over here and number 28. As they are going down the field, they are not reacting to the ball. But look at your safety. The ball is thrown right when that safety breaks, right? He's the only one in zone at this point. Even though it's a cover two zone, because those guys went to man activation, they are now playing man principles. They will not break on the ball. And it's going to give you the opportunity to basically throw it, pass lead it up, knowing that player is not going to break on it until the ball is caught. Zone jumps on the ability of the, the uh, quarterback throwing, but not man. See how this works? So when man, I, I, what I mean by that is man covering a, a, di a different player than the pole is attended for that player. So because of that, we're going to able to get that extra yards so by pass leading it up. So as long as you know that it's covered too, definitely use that to your advantage. 
Now, what I do like about this is you can also disguise some running plays with it, because say you're doing something like this um, halfback ace power, right? Well, if you've done this play a couple times where you motion this guy here, people are going to expect you to motion him back. We can quick hike it at this point and really have an extra lead blocker when it comes to giving you a little bit of an opportunity to get a quick hitting play. You can use it in the pitch as well. I don't like it as much in the pitch. I, there's a different motion that we'll show you later in this week that we like a little bit better, but you can definitely use it in the pitch really quickly as well, you know, as far as letting him settle, get the ability to get outside and you know get some yardage but it is something that you could definitely use in that regard too so once you you do this a couple times you know they're going to be a little bit less um of you know uh, ready for for that type of um you know play now let's move this to the left hash mark and show you how it works on the left hash mark going to the short side of the field it's going to work the same it's just going to give you a lot less opportunity to um basically get any yards after catch, right? So, you know, you're going to be trying to throw it to this Y basically all the sidelines. So you're going to want somebody who's got the ability to, you know, uh, catch the sideline ball. They're going to pat, pat, um, man activate, and you can see how we're going to be able to catch it right on that sidelines. So it's going to work the same. I'll show you in cover two now. Um, it's just going to be a little bit less of a opportunity to get some big yards. So I kind of like it a lot of times on the short yardage, especially when I'm looking only for, you know, eight to 10 because most people are going to have instinctively cover the wide side of the field rather than the short side of the field. So you're going to basically do this. Now I could pass lead it up like I did there and get a little bit more yardage. Um, as you can see, Gabriel doesn't a good doesn't do a good job of catching the ball on the sidelines where you're going to want that, um, that attribute when you use this um, to your number three receiver. But this definitely is a great option to get some quick, easy yards when it comes to those who like to spam either cover two or your cloud coverages in cover three. Appreciate it guys for watching this video. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video as we are going to go ahead and drop the rest of the scheme on our website at smartmadden.com in order to have a full scheme to help you build off of the four plays that we've shown you all week. Thanks again, slap a like if you like this play and we'll see you on tomorrow's video.